Yeah, the car doesn't have a problem with it. That's wicked, man. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, people? Tech Jamo, we out here in the Honda E again. And as you can tell by the title, we have finally, finally received the blessings from the technological gods above. Fam, we are now able to use the HDMI mode whilst driving. Now, if you're a driver, I don't suggest you watch something on the HDMI whilst you are driving, but for your passenger now, they can watch whatever they want to watch. My little girl, for example, when I'm getting her back from Nottingham to London and she's on that three-hour journey, she can now watch her YouTube Minecraft rubbish or whatever she wants to watch on the heads-up display whilst I'm doing my journey thing. So, um, yeah, let's get into how to do it. Shout out to... Um, it's Jan Sharu. Is it Jan Sharu? I'm not too sure of the pronunciation. But this guy literally found this method two days ago on YouTube and on the Honda E car forums. Make sure you're on both of those if you're interested in Honda E stuff. I'll put the links in the description section below. Fam, it's all mad. It's like a car diagnostics thing. Let's go and show you how to get it done yourself. All right, now, first things first, you want to make sure that your car is obviously on. And I mean, like, on, on kind of thing, like it's ready to drive. And um, you can leave it in park or whatever. That doesn't really matter. But you just want to make sure you're on the normal home screen. Nothing else really matters. As long as the car is on and you're on the home screen, what you're going to do now is you're going to press the home button and the audio button for five seconds or five, four, three, two, one. And then what you're going to do after that is you're going to press the middle button down. Five, four, three, two, one. There we go. And what you'll get now is you'll get some kind of issues going on here. Where it will say this is not working, that is not working, this is not working. And then it should go back to normal in a second. It's just telling you that there's bare problems with the car. And that's because you've gone into the diagnostics menu. So what you're going to do is you're going to touch this part here where it says detailed information and setting. And then once you're in this menu here, you're going to hold the home button down again until you hear a beep. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I don't even know if those were five seconds or just five of my random counting. Um, anyway, and then once you get to that, you're going to go to Vehicle Model Information. Go into that, go to DDVSP Error at the top there. Click on that guy, and then DDVSP Error, you're going to turn that off. Then what you're going to do is you're going to press Return to get all the way out of there and back to your main menu. And you should notice that all the car issues there, or the car warnings, they're gone. And um, that's it. Fam, we've now enabled HDMI whilst driving. So what we're going to do now to obviously test this is we're going to get my Wi-Fi hotspot on. I can't remember where I put my remote. Put it in. There we go. There we go. There we go. I'll put the boys on. We're in drive. Um, you can see everything's working there. Let me just indicate out because we are going. Yep, mirror looks cool. Let's go. And as you can see, we are clearly moving. And um, yeah, the car doesn't have a problem with it. That's wicked, man. The only issue is that you have to do it every time that you want to use um, the HDMI whilst you're driving, which to be honest for me is okay because if I'm doing a short journey and if my little girl's not here, then I'm probably not going to use it anyway. I'm only going to really use it on the long three hour journeys where um, she's obviously in the car with me watching her YouTube stuff. Um, apparently this also works for the uh, aquarium. If I just set it to the aquarium now. Um, I think the aquarium won't show up because that is there. Let me just get onto the aquarium. Right, so we've got my aquarium up now. Just checking my corners as normal. Yeah, don't try to record this and film at the same time, guys. I'm just doing this for YouTube, for you guys. <laughs> but as you can see, clearly moving. And um, yeah, literally no issues at all. So I'm quite, I'm quite happy with that myself. 
There we go. Hey, let's try not to crash into the wall. So yeah, again guys, big shout out to Jean Charu or Jan Charus. Jan Charus? I'm sorry for butchering your name. But um you you're the MVP, fam. You're the MVP. You made it happen, fam. So yeah, that's how you get the HDMI working whilst you're driving on your Honda E. Like I said, I'll put the link to his video so you can see the original thing. All credit to him. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.